And back here at home and a major health alert tonight, the Zika virus being spread by mosquitoes right here in the U.S. At least four people infected after being bitten near downtown Miami. Today, health officials going door to door to test residents. And tonight, a warning from England to its pregnant residents, do not travel to Florida. Here's ABC's Eva Pilgrim right there in Ground Zero. Tonight, that warning for pregnant British citizens not matched by the CDC here at home. This is where the outbreak is, oh right God. here. Don't tell Lulu that. <laughs> Lulu, we shouldn't be here. <laughs> the CDC not putting any travel warning in place for Florida yet, but this family of three from Virginia now taking extra precautions. We'd be more sensitive to yeah, keeping an eye out for, uh, uh, for symptoms. Four people with Zika all bitten by mosquitoes in this one square mile of Miami right next to downtown and just one block from Raisin Mendoza's home. This is my baby. This is him. She's 25 weeks pregnant with her first child and constantly on alert, knowing she's most at risk. Zika's symptoms are mild in most but can cause severe birth defects. I have to think every day, like, do I want to go outside or what am I going to wear? You know, did I carry my repellent? Is it going to be strong enough? In Miami, extra patrols out spraying, screening residents and passing out critical supplies in the trouble zone. So what's yes. left for us then? Officials in Miami confident they can keep Zika contained. Once something starts, we nip it in the bud. Health officials are really encouraging people who live near mosquitoes anywhere, not just this neighborhood, to exercise caution and wear repellent. Cecilia? Eva, thank you. I want to bring in ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, joining us from Brazil, the center of the outbreak. So, Dr. Besser, tonight you heard it, England saying pregnant women should not travel to Florida, but the CDC not issuing the same warning. Is that a mistake? Well, you know, I have to say, if these cases had occurred were the first cases in the Caribbean country or a Latin American country, they would issue that advisory. But what they're saying is four cases, they occurred in early July, and there's been no transmission since then. But I have to say, if you're a pregnant woman and can avoid that part of Miami, that's not a bad idea. And if you're pregnant and you live there, you want to make sure you're using repellent all the time. Okay, Dr. Besser, thank you.